All right, crew. So I promised you I would show you how to do more layers, more complicated layers. A little bit of red, our handy dandy soft tip spray castle tool. We're going to come over here, maybe right about here, at the shape of an apple. Yeah, something like that. Guys, when I told you the beginning of the series that you didn't need to know how to draw to spray paint, I was being honest with you. Look, that's not really a very good apple, is it? Looks more like a glass. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So it comes in handy. If you know how, it definitely comes in handy, guys. Like anything, more knowledge, the more you're, you're able to do, right? So, okay, there we go. Doesn't have to be too great, just the rough shape of an apple. We're going to come over here. I cleaned the tool here. We're going to use some clear coat, Rust Oleum Clear. I'm going to spray that down. I'm going to show you how to create that same effect with this apple over here. Guys, this is the tool to, to use. I know some of you guys like to use the palette knife. Uh, yeah, it's okay for certain techniques. For this technique, we're going to use the Spray Castle tool. All right. I know a lot of people are like, Spray Castle, your tool, I can't find it. Well, guys, I've, if I haven't mentioned it before, I no longer make my tools, but I used to make my tools out of popsicle sticks. Same design, right? Uh, we used to get cut a lot when we used to spray paint life. I need a little bit of clear coat on top of that. And so anyways, I kept the tool design the same. At a 45 degree angle, I'm lucky that there's other companies, other art suppliers that make it for, you know, not just for spray painting. They, I think it was used for um, clay shaping. But it works for our style too. Look at that. Beginning to take shape, huh? And you just got to smear it down a couple of times. Get the desired effect you're looking for. In this case, I do like the red, but I also wanted to blend a little bit more with the colors below it. See how this one came out pretty good? I couldn't wait for the painting to dry completely, guys. As I mentioned in the last tutorial, can't quite do that because it won't work the same. So while the paint's still wet, I'm going to add some more layers. There we go. And I'm keeping it moist with the clear coat. Anyways, this tool is handy dandy. I definitely recommend you guys experiment with it. If you can get the soft tip, you know, uh, this is just something that I walked into Hobby Lobby and saw that they had. And I said, well, you know, why not? Let, let's see how it works. Guys, it works great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm able to do so many more, so many more techniques. I'm able to blend paints better. See how I'm blending them together? Well, with the hard tip spray castle tool, can't quite. You you can. You have to have a very steady hand, very gentle when you do this. But yeah, for the most part, see. For the most part, it's really great for like scratching highlights. I know a lot of you guys like doing that. It's good, guys. You can you can scratch highlights. I just if you want to learn other techniques, ah, definitely. All right, so we'll work on these apples a little bit more. Maybe we'll add one in the background, and maybe one here. I'm not sure. We'll see. But stay tuned, crew. Now then, guys, if you guys are like me, and I didn't get any brown, right? I went to the store, I bought a bunch of spray paints, and I forgot the brown. I, You know what? I'm so used to it. Because that's when I first started with Spray Castle, we only had the basic colors. Not always did we have brown. So if you guys need to make brown, orange and black. Mix it together. 
voila, you get brown. Oh, the camera's not getting, doing a good job of getting it, but you get brown. Soft tips, spray castle tool. Come over here, and you create your stem. Right. Just like that. Have the camera focus a little bit, come over here, and do the same. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to create some leaves on there. Have you guys seen my tutorial where I teach you guys how to create leaves? You could do some green in the background and then use your tool on top of that. Or, uh, oh, great, I don't have green. Oh, yeah, I do. All right. Let me remember, before every spray, you want to spray it off. Okay. I don't really want it to mix with these. So, yeah, it's not bad. A little bit of green there. Tap, 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 tap. Soft tip, spray castle tool. Come over here and... Oh, sorry, crew. It's a little hard. I can't use the camera to see because... I need to pay attention to the detail that we have going on here. Okay, and all I'm using, guys, is a soft tip tool. Come in here and create some of these leaves. Now, you also want those leaves to mix with the paints below. It'll give you a more realistic effect, I think. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to work on these leaves a little bit more. But now you know the technique that I'm using to create them. All right, crew. So we went ahead and added the leaves. Hey, look at that. Yeah, we went ahead. We added some leaves. We added some shadows here below. And basically what we did, guys, with that is just a little bit of black. Bam, bam, bam. Here on the bottom. Probably going to cover my signature a little bit, but that's okay. It's not like you guys don't know. I spray painted it. All right. So that's what we have. Some apples. Now remember guys, I wanted to break, what I wanted to do here mostly is break this straight line that we had behind, right? So we had our bottle, we had our glass. So um, the straight line, it was just too straight for me. I, I needed to break it up a little bit. So that's why I added the apples. I recommend you guys do the same. Maybe instead of putting the glass so, so straight, perpendicular to the bottle, maybe you can put it a little bit closer. Maybe you can even take this and put it like where it overlaps the bottle a little bit. You don't want to keep it too straight, guys. But that's a lesson for the future. That's a lesson for a little bit more advanced painting. Until now, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. Crew, keep those cans shaking. Until next time.